With that being said, let's move forward. To be honest, as his classmate and friend, his signature look or what made him stand out was his dreads. So the next question is, why did you cut your dreads? <laughs> yeah, I feel like everybody, everybody's gonna want to know. Everyone is curious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you cut your dreads? Hey, bro, what happened? <laughs> what were you going like? Yeah. Why did you cut your dreads? Why, why did you end up here with curls? What, what happened? So, I had dreads, right? And I, I had dreads from 2017. 14 2017 until September. Uh, so during this time, remember I told you that my lockdown was impacting me. Yeah. So I realized a lot of things about myself. So yeah. So with a lot of things that I had, or a lot of things that I was doing, all through, all through like good intention, of course. I had to like really like question. Everything I like, feel, why did And the same thing went with my trade Uh So, 2017, I had dreads. And I decided to, you know, my mom actually was the one who was like, no, do your dreads. And so I was like, okay, do my dreads. And then, what happened was that I heard something. What did you hear? Someone was like, yo, bro, you look like black. <laughs> I like, oh, bro, you look like that. Like, cause like my my dreads were like covering my face, and so yeah. like, you guys, you always have them like like some yeah. on other time on other days yeah. they'd be tied up, and then on other days they'd be like blue. Yeah. But I think you look like black. I think that's all true. How my dreads were. So seeing that people ascribe me or like projected that identity on, onto, you. onto me, I felt like, yeah. Yeah, like let, me, let me try to do this, you know, let me, let me continue with that, you know, and then, if y'all don't know this, then I don't know, if, if you know me and you don't know this, then I don't think you know me that much, but I am the biggest J. Cole fan, and, that's true, when people started oh, saying, yo, that's J. Cole, hey, you look like J. Cole, you look like J. Cole, and remember last year, beginning of the year, where uh, my dress sense was just like, what did you say? <laughs> I look like. Yo, let me explain. Let me explain. Guys, literally, when someone would tell you, I would be like, what the fuck is he going through? Like, he didn't give a damn. Like, he had his suit pants, his t shirt, his dress were like all over his face. He didn't give a fuck. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Okay, so why did upon, you upon realizing that that was the reason why I was um, having those dreads, it was it was one of those things where it's like, but bro, you lost so much of your identity trying to be like these people. You know, like in everything that I was doing, in the way that I was speaking, in the way that I was carrying myself, I was adopting another person's uh, personality, character, identity, and only because like people were projecting these things onto me. I love the idea because at the time I was afraid of being me. Yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I decided to cut my dreads. Because there was just a lot of it was an identity crisis. You know, I was going through an identity crisis. Jaco. I was going through an identity crisis and there was just a lot of superficial attachments growing through those dreams and so I just decided, you know what, let me slip them off. Move on to my own identity and so, now we have Cody Sam. Oh, I feel like at this point in your life you are yourself. You're dressing the way you want to dress, how you feel comfortable. That's so why I was even taking pictures of you the other day because I'm like, you look good, you feel good. That is, I, I can feel that projection. I can feel it. So that's how I was busy taking pictures of you and whatever. Because I feel like at this point in your life, you are yourself. You are Sam. And it's the best version. Stand, I stand a person that can understand who they are and be the person that they are. So I can give you like a. Alright, right. I can give you a high five for that. I stand, I really do. With that being said, <laughs> with that being said, 
there's a question someone asked me, I, I, I couldn't answer it. So I'm like, if I'd ask Sam, I feel like he'd be honest with you. Because you're a very honest person and you know the story. If someone gave you a letter that had your death, 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 would you open it? If you'd open it, why? If you wouldn't open it, why? <laughs> it has your death dates, literally. It's going to tell you when you're gonna, it's going to be let out. Would you open it? If you'd open it, why would you open it? If you wouldn't open it, why would you open it? Uh, I would open it. I would open it. Why would you open it? Uh, because, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> This person is coming with the elected and says, yo, you're gonna die on this day. Oh, you know? So like me saying, nah, I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna be haunted by that, like Yeah, that's true. And also when you open but, it. Yeah, but then like another thing is that when I open it, I get the chance to To know when you're gonna die. Not only that, but then to like really connect with people in ways that uh, I never could really yeah. make amends with a lot of people and tell those that I feel like yo, I've always wanted to tell you this and then I'll tell you now and so like, let me just tell you now regardless of how you may feel about it and I feel like, I feel like she's crazy best friend <laughs> she's crazy best friend but then it's cool best friend why don't you say it? It's cool. I love it like that. Why don't you say it? You're such a bitch. Best homie. Like uh, best, best friend. friend. Yeah, yes. best friend. Okay. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to know. She will be back. Huh? No, I'm not filming after that. <laughs> she will be back soon. I'm not filming after that. Yeah, like, but yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, Sam got me drunk. That's the super friend that I have. <laughs> okay, okay, let me end it. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Long life, more life. More life. <laughs> more life. More. I hope one thing I wish for everyone. Okay, let me turn it down. One thing that I wish for everyone is to get into Sam's brain. I also want to get into Sam's brain. It's very difficult for me. I mean, I understand the type of person that he is, but it's very difficult for me to get into his brain because I feel like he's a very what the fuck happens in your brain? That's me right now. I'm like, what happens in your brain? Vacation day. Just have an open mind. That's it. Just have Hi, it's not that easy. So yeah, um, it's not that easy. We out here. I hope everybody's good. It's cool. And for the next you. Poisonous youth for you.